Hi, this is Rob Curto here at Liberty Bellows in Philadelphia. Welcome back to my video series on groove creation for the accordion. In our last two videos, we learned to play a bossa nova groove with variations, and then we applied it to a song by the great Brazilian guitarist Baden Powell. Bossa nova originated in Rio de Janeiro in the 1950s and is essentially a more subtle and intimate form of samba. In today's video, we'll learn to play a regular samba pattern, which you'll find to be much more active, busier, and syncopated than the bossa nova groove. Samba is a rhythmic language that comes out of a specific Brazilian percussion ensemble. Two of the most important instruments in this ensemble are the surdu and the tamborin. The surdu is a big bass drum that's played with a stick and plays on beats one and two. We've got a muted shorter hit on beat one and a longer open hit on beat two. The tambourine is not like an American tambourine. It's a small hand drum about this big that's played with a stick on top with off beats on the bottom with your finger. The pattern that we're going to reference for the accordion groove is and you'll see how these two parts fit together to play the samba pattern. Now samba is a language, it's not just a single pattern. It has variations, it references the melody, and there are different types of samba. But we're going to start with a simple pattern that's going to allow you to enter into the language and start understanding how it works. First let's take a look at the left hand. If we play our groove in A minor, we'll use the root A and the fifth E to imitate the two quarter notes of the sordu. The A will play the shorter muted first hit on beat one and the E will play the longer open hit on beat two as follows. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. Remember that samba is always in two four time, with each beat divided into four sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. Now let's learn the right hand pattern. This pattern imitates the pattern played by the tambourine and it has a low and a high voice. The high voice imitates the stick on the head of the tambourine and the low voice imitates the finger underneath. For our low voice we'll place our thumb on an E which is the fifth of our A minor chord and the high voice will be played with an A minor triad with fingers two, three, and five on A, C, and E. So our two voices are E, low voice, A minor triad as our high voice. Our samba groove is a two measure pattern and we'll play it by playing either a low or a high voice on each and every 16th note of our four beats. Once we're done, you'll notice that the first measure has an accented high voice right on the downbeat, and our second measure is anticipated. First, let's learn the pattern. Beat one of our first measure is going to play a pattern high, low, high, low. If I play it in time and count, it sounds like this. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. Now let's add beat two of the first measure, and we'll have completed half the pattern. The pattern for beat two is high, high, low, high. Together our entire first measure sounds like this. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. Now let's add beat one of our second measure. This pattern is low, high, low, high. Adding it to what we've already played, we get one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a one E and a. Then finally, beat two of the second measure plays low, high, high, low. 
Now, if we put the entire pattern together slowly, it looks and sounds like this. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a. If we play it a little bit faster, we'll start to feel that our first measure is accented on the downbeat and our second measure is anticipated. One E and a two E and a 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 one E and a two E and a. Now if we put both hands together, playing our surdu pattern in the left hand and our tambourine pattern in the right hand, it sounds like this. One E and a two E and a one E and a two E and a Congratulations on learning to play a complete samba pattern on the accordion. This pattern will get you started in understanding and playing one of Brazil's most important musical forms. Stay tuned for our next video in which we'll explore how to play the complete accompaniment with both hands and the melody to a song all at the same time. Here's an example from Folhas Secas by the great Brazilian composer Nelson Cavaquinho.